Hello guys, Leo here and this is gonna be the third part of our tutorial series on how to create a walking animation in Flash. Okay guys, so in this uh, video we're going to create the actual walking animation. Okay, so um, let's start out by uh, selecting all the layers. Uh, we're gonna copy them and then we're gonna convert this into a new symbol. The symbol is gonna be called walking. I'm gonna crack the one walking, yeah. One walking. Okay, so now after we've got the. Oh, oops. I'm just gonna do it again, okay. Uh, character one walking. There we go. I don't know what happened before, that was weird. Okay, so now we don't need this anymore because we already copied the, all the layers. So we're gonna delete this and we're gonna paste the layers. And there it is, our character. Um, now we're just gonna delete everything in here because we don't need it anymore because we already have this. And so we're gonna delete all the layers except for that layer where we have our character everything okay and um, we're gonna name this character okay so now we're gonna go inside the layer and we are going to start the animation okay so uh, for me what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, uh, add frames we're so gonna add like th I'll extend the frames all the way to 50 there we go this is how i do it just like a lot of different styles of making work animation some people do it in 43 frames some do it in 30 but i'm gonna do it in 50. so um i'm gonna do it and I'm, I'm gonna select um go to frame 10 and then i'm gonna add a keyframe for the legs i'm gonna start out by creating the legs by making the legs move so um, I'm gonna start with the uh, first position. So our first position is gonna be um, the legs spreading out. This is gonna be frame one. And the legs are gonna be a little like they're not gonna be like this. They're gonna be a little bent, like sort of like this. Let's see here. Let's see what I can do. Sort of like this. Okay. So um let's see here. Just going to take a lot of um modifications to make this look good. Okay, guys, there we go. Yeah, so this looks pretty fine. Um um, this sh I mean, this is too bended for me. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like this. There we go. We have our first um part of our animation cycle. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. And um, let's see here. I'm just gonna. All right, guys. There we go. Now for the second part, for the second uh, keyframe, I'm just gonna copy everything and paste it in here. Whoops! That was only for the right, uh, left leg. I also need to do the same thing for the right leg. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay, there we go, guys. So now, 
the second step of our uh, walking cycle. I'm just gonna make this like be a little less bended. And there we go. I'm just gonna make this a little more bended. Sort of like. Um, yeah, this, this is good. So now we're gonna add a classic tween. And what a classic tween does, a classic tween basically makes everything look smooth and not sharp, choppy. So see now, it, this looks pretty smooth. And um, same thing for it. See, this looks a lot better. So yeah, now that we have this in our next frame, frame twenty. Um, we are going to make this be less bended. this there we go and um I'm just gonna And um like over here. There we go. So see this is looking pretty darn good. So now that we've got this, um, let's go to frame 30. So in frame 30, we're going to make this leg like, touch the ground. And just, bend, just make it bend a little.
there we go guys just looking pretty good okay so um now we're gonna create the classic twin so it looks smooth left leg and right leg for both okay let's see how this looks yeah so this is looking great um now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and um, select the first frames of both legs and then put them in here and so now I'm just gonna create a classic twin this is gonna make the press a lot easier because it's the last frame so now this let's see how this looks this way to modify this a little and then we're gonna be done need to barely modify this this like has to be touching the ground by now because if not it looks weird I'm just gonna unhide everything except for this layer or for this folder sorry and um, this leg should be touching the ground guys so There it is. Let's see how this looks. See, this looks better. And, um, and this leg should be a little more up. Sort of like dun, dun, dun. I think I did something wrong. I think this leg should be the one that touches the ground and this shouldn't. Yeah, so no, it's not that big of a difference. It's 2D, so you don't notice it that much. I mean, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna rotate this a little more. And then move it to like here. A little more down. Be a little more up on the other hand. Okay. So I'll make this don't look too crappy. Okay, just one last thing that we're gonna do. There it is. Yeah, so here we go, guys. We've got the walking animation. This is looking, um, I mean, this. Oh, yeah, I think I know what to do. I'm just going to make this. I'm just going to bend this a little and then rotate it. And then sort of like this. There we go, guys. This should look a lot better. Fix the glitches so that um, mm. and this more like more down. 
Okay, yeah, guys. So now we just uh, need to um, move the arms. So we're gonna go ahead and do the arms for the next tutorial for the next part of this tutorial because I already took too much time on the legs. Well, this is basically how you do the legs and see how this. Let's see how this looks. Oh, sorry. I need to create more frames. I'm just gonna create like around 50 frames. There we go, guys. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's looking pretty good, guys. We just need to create the arms and we're gonna be ready to go. Well, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.